You know, on Tuesday, I delivered my State of the Union address, and I said that while the economy is getting stronger and businesses like yours have created more than 8 million new jobs over the past four years, our unemployment rate is lower than it's been in over five years, we all know we've still got a lot more to do to build an economy where everybody who is willing to work hard and take responsibility can get ahead. We've got to do more to restore opportunity for every American. And the opportunity agenda I laid out begins with doing everything we can to create new jobs here in America. And getting people back on the job faster is one of our top priorities. But uh, I have to confess, last month Congress made that harder by letting unemployment insurance expire for more than a million people. And each week that Congress fails to restore that insurance, roughly 72,000 Americans will join the ranks of the long-term unemployed who have also lost their economic lifeline. We've engaged employers of all sizes all around the country, including many who are here today, to commit to a set of inclusive hiring policies for making sure recruiting and screening practices don't disadvantage folks who've been out of work to establishing an open-door policy that actively encourages all qualified applicants. So even though our economy is getting stronger, it's not going to be enough until those gains translate into better opportunities for ordinary folks like Eric, who are have the skills, have the desire, just need a chance.